You're a drug peddler. That's what you are. Who do you remind me of? Oh, yes. Pagan. <laughs> I'm like Pagan because I have a vision for Kilat. I'm trying to take us out of your third world bullshit. It's our history, our culture, our traditions. Tradition? Like what? Marrying little girls, is that it? Is that your big plan for Badra? Oh, go for it. Go ahead, show Ajay what kind of man you are. I don't answer to you. At least we agree on that. She didn't have a choice. Pagan forced Nor to do those things. He had her family. And how many families did she kill to save her own? Doesn't matter why she did it. She has to pay. Just like everyone else. I'll decide what happens to Nor. Did I ever tell you about Noor? <laughs> this is one of my favorites. She used to be a doctor, quite the benevolent soul. Uh, she came to Kirot on some aid mission in the early days of my reign. Uh, she had the audacity to write a report on the human rights abuses perpetrated by my regime. So, I reached out to her, invited her to come back to see the improvements, how we'd acted on her recommendations. I extended the invite to her family. So she came, husband and kids. I put them up in the palace, I even put on a little meeting for her, I made a PowerPoint to a 12-step uh, action plan to address Kirat's human rights violations. <laughs> Except each slide was about how I was going to ruin Noor's life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Paul Deplore kept her family hostage while I forced the great humanitarian Dr. Najjar to run the most terrible parts of my Kirati Empire. <laughs> oh, between you and I, I think she actually enjoys it now.
my family. I'm sorry, Noor. No. No. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Hagen. Hagen had them killed years ago. I don't need your pity. I want my family back. No. I'm sorry. But you're free now. <laughs> free. Free. Free from what? All the people I've killed? From everything I've done? <laughs> I gave them this taste for blood. Your blood. Mine. Isn't that what you want? More blood! Here! Now I'm free. Hello. 